Hello everyone, I'm back again. Thanks for tuning in. Now today, I'm going to tell you about a little problem I've been having. It's actually with Stringify. Now we did a demo and a review of that system, that software there, just a little while ago. But I've been having some problems connecting it to my Google Home. Now, if you're in one of the countries that's having problems with Stringify, I've got a solution for you. Here it comes. Okay, so let's talk about the two issues we had. We actually had a problem with Google Home actually disabling Stringify's integration on September 12th. Now, that you'll see from an email from Stringify themselves, you'll see what went on there. Stringify and Google Home also weren't working together in some countries. This included Canada, which I'm in, so that's especially important to me. But if you're from one of those countries where it was not yet working in terms of integrating, this video is perfect for you. Now here's the email I got from Stringify. You can see right away when I asked Stringify why my Google Home wasn't able to integrate with Stringify, I was told basically that Google has disabled their integration without notice and they're working to get it re-enabled. So you can go to status.stringify.com to have a look at that. So on I went. Now this is on September 20th, I had a look. At the top it says Google Assistant's not functional, but as you scroll down to the bottom of this web page, you'll actually find that Google Assistant is operational. So there we go, we're ready to go, let's try it out. Now one of the problems that I described was that it was specific to Canada. Now what I was finding was that it was actually my language holding me back. So inside the Google Home application on my iPhone or your Android, whichever device you'd like, you can actually go into more settings and straight into the device itself, your Google Home itself. And once you're in there, you can actually change the assistant language from English Canada to English US. Now you can see that there's a number of other countries there that can go straight to English US. And once I did this, I began to get different responses from Stringify. Let's see what that is. Now here's how it looks once you're in the Stringify application and you try and connect your Google Home. It will give you these four steps to run through in order to connect Stringify to Google Home. Okay Google, talk to Stringify. It looks like your Stringify account is not linked yet. You can link Stringify to your Google account from the Google Home app. So we're going to head into the Google Home app because we've already talked to our Google Home, asked it to link to Stringify, and right up immediately, here's the capability to link to Stringify. So I just hit link, and now I'm just going to go ahead and log in to my account here, my Stringify account in this case. So we're doing this very similarly to connecting any other device that we have to our Google Home in the past. Now, once that's occurred, I go back to Stringify, and inside of Stringify, this is actually pretty good, I don't actually have to do anything. My Google Assistant is showing that it's connected, and I'm all ready to go. And just so you can see it, Here's a couple of the flows that you can instantly enable. Now one of these ones at the bottom is going to be a future video. It is TV time there with the Google Home, the Logitech Hub, and Philips Lights. I'm going to show you guys how to set that up in a future video. Okay, well I hope you've got Stringify all working. If you don't, leave a comment below. If you do, hey, why not subscribe? like or share this video with another one of your friends who's trying to automate their home. We'll see you next time.